Welcome to the SAC Metro Air District Incentive Overview. The SAC Metro Air District has different ways of reducing air pollution in our region, such as air monitoring, enforcement, incentives, land use guidance, rules, and permits. In this segment, we will be talking about what incentives are and types of incentive programs we run at the district. Let's get started. Before we dive in, we first need to know what incentives are. Incentives are funds to motivate businesses to purchase the cleanest technology available to reduce air pollution. Why are incentives important for air quality? Incentives in cleaner transportation are one of the fastest, most effective ways to reduce air pollution in our area. Incentives help promote the growth of new technologies to help clean up the air we breathe. These new technologies can help reduce the bad health and environmental effects caused by poor air quality. Due to Sacramento County's location, our biggest air pollution burden is from vehicles and other mobile sources, including trucks, buses, agricultural or construction equipment, powerboats, and gas-powered lawn and garden equipment. If you recall from the Sac Metro Air District Overview Module, exhaust from mobile sources includes oxides and nitrogen and volatile organic compounds. When these compounds are mixed with sunlight, ground-level ozone or smog is created. The district does not have the authority to enforce rules and regulations on this type of air pollution source. In our area, the enforcement of mobile sources is done at the state level by the California Air Resources Board and the federal level by the Environmental Protection Agency. Incentives are one of the ways that we at the Air District can reduce air pollution in our area from transportation. The district has been running successful incentive programs in our region for more than 20 years. Through these programs, we have been able to invest more than $280 million state and federal dollars to improve our air quality in the Sacramento region. Traditionally, all of our programs tend to look at air quality throughout our region as a whole. This means that we look at air quality improvements from incentives not only for Sacramento County, but also for our surrounding counties such as Yolo, Placer, El Dorado, Solano, and Sutter. This selected region has also been referred to as the Sacramento Federal Non-Attainment Area. Newer programs such as our Community Car Share, Clean Cars for All, and the Community Air Protection Program now look at air quality at a more local level within the Sacramento County. Because of our programs and participants, we have been able to reduce the pollutants of ozone-causing nitrogen oxides, also known as NOx, by an average of 3,700 tons per year, and particulate matter has been reduced by an average of 345 tons per year. Removing this much NOx from our air is like removing 1 million cars and trucks from the road. For particulate matter, this would be like removing 200,000 wood-burning fireplaces from our region in one year. So why is all this important to you? Reducing these types of pollutants in our air is necessary to keep our communities healthy. Both of these pollutants are known to be harmful to our health. The World Health Organization has studies showing that air pollution from emissions like NOx and particulate matter are related to deaths from lung cancer, stroke, and heart disease. Check out these links from the Environmental Protection Agency and the World Health Organization to learn more. To do our part in helping reduce these harmful pollutants, we offer incentive programs for businesses and residents. Now let's take a quick look at what incentive programs are offered at the Air District. The district offers incentive programs for both businesses and residents. This slide shows a brief overview of the incentive programs for businesses. This includes the Carl Moyer Program, the Community Air Protection Incentive Program, the Farmer Program, the Goods Movement Emission Reduction Program, CCAT, and the Targeted Green Infrastructure Fund. We will take a deeper look into each program in their own separate presentation. To learn more about any of our programs listed on the screen or to find out the program status, go to airquality.org. Now let's take a quick look at our programs for residents. These programs include our Community Car Share, Clean Cars for All, Transportation Demand Management, and the Wood Stove Changeout Program. To learn more about any of these programs listed on the screen, go to airquality.org. You might have already seen some of our projects out in your community. Projects funded by our incentive programs can be recognized by decals such as these. So how does a person or business participate in our incentive programs? All of our programs have specific guidelines, but in general, the following steps apply to most of our programs. The first step is that the business or person must be willing to apply. All our programs are voluntary. 
The second step for most programs is that the business or person must be willing to destroy a working vehicle or equipment that they currently own and operate. Then the old equipment and the new equipment they wish to purchase must meet the state or federal guideline requirements for the program that they are applying to. Next, they must be willing to pay the initial cost. For most of our programs, the incentive funds are given on a reimbursement basis and cover only part of the cost. Finally, they must be willing to report back on a regular basis for the length of their contract term and be subject to random audits. This process can take anywhere from a couple months to a couple years of project development and planning. Even with willing partners, only 80% of submitted projects actually make it on the ground. As you can see from this slide, the participant needs to be extremely motivated to make the jump to a less polluting piece of equipment than is currently required by state or federal requirements. If you're interested in seeing what other funding opportunities are out there, check out CalStart's Funding Finder at fundingfindertool.org. To recap, incentives are just another tool that the Air District uses to help improve the air we breathe. To learn more about our incentive programs, go to airquality.org. Presentations like this one will be available soon for each of our programs and other air quality topics. Thank you for joining us today and taking an interest in the Sacramento Metropolitan Air Quality Management District.